Okay, so what are some of the easiest ways to monetize your C-sharp skills? Before I get into some of the details of the topic of this video, I just want to offer a bit of advice as someone who has worked as a senior software developer for many years. So this advice is mostly targeted at those who are younger and even perhaps just starting out, but it can apply to anyone really. Don't do a job just for money. If you want to be a developer, make sure that it is for reasons greater than just money. Do you enjoy the process of creating applications? And do you like problem solving? Being able to stick with a problem until it's solved is huge if you want to be a developer. If you don't at some level enjoy what you do, you risk burning out pretty fast. So ideally, before you commit yourself to the pursuit of a career in programming, perhaps ask yourself the question, is this a sustainable career for me? It's not just about writing code. Actually, more and more, it's less about writing code because AI is very good at generating snippets of code. Don't get me wrong, despite the AI hype, you really do still need to learn to code. To have a sustained career where you can make great money, you of course need the hard technical skills, but it is also hugely advantageous to have these soft skills, curiosity and continuous learning patience and perseverance. And this one is huge. Good communication skills, teamwork and collaboration, adaptability, and lastly, another very important one, time management, prioritizing tasks and meeting deadlines. Hey, but it said get rich on the thumbnail, Gavin. Yes, and you can get rich if you cultivate a strong work ethic, make smart business decisions, are tenacious, creative, and have that entrepreneurial spirit. Find what works for you, adds value to the world, and then commit to it. C Sharp is just a tool you can use for building wealth. You have to find out where the best areas in the market are and then target them, and then add significant value with your C Sharp skills. Hey, are you rich? Yeah, I'm a freaking baller. I'm late for something. Gotta go. So my advice, mostly to those starting out, is to get a few years of experience working for someone else. Yes, the nine to five grind. You're going to learn a lot more than just software development. You're going to learn how to deal with other human beings in the workplace. So teamwork, which is one of the most important skills for anyone to learn. You're also going to learn a lot about yourself when you are challenged with problems to solve on a daily basis, be it human relations problems or technical problems. Know thyself. This is a philosophical maxim that was inscribed upon the Temple of Apollo in the ancient Greek precinct of Delphi. 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 A great way to get to know yourself is to put yourself out there and allow the world to challenge you. It's up to you to rise to that challenge. Okay, so we all need to survive and we all need to make money. It's an inescapable fact. So initially, you may have to work in a job, let's say that you are not head over heels in love with. I certainly had to do that on occasions. If you need to do that for a few years, I'm sure the vast majority of us do. My advice is to save your money and invest it wisely and make sure you learn as much as you can on the job. You can also develop a side hustle while you are employed. Find other ways to make money other than just submitting to the traditional nine to five grind. But as I say, it may be wise to find a traditional developer job as it were initially until you find something that really works for you both financially and spiritually. But if you find yourself trapped in a horrible nine to five job that you hate, be like Andy Dufresne in Shawshank Redemption, slowly picking at the wall when nobody else is looking until you have eventually picked a hole right through that wall. Remember to cover it up so the warden doesn't see the hole. And make sure you have squirreled away enough money so that you can make it on the outside. Then make the escape and pursue the work you love. Rather than striving to be rich, strive to eventually be able to earn your money by doing something that you enjoy doing. You'll find even when you have enough money, when you no longer need to work just to survive, 
you'll still want to work. We all need to have a purpose and feel useful. The huge difference is you'll be working because you want to work. You'll be rich, but not just rich in money. You'll be following your purpose and you won't be a slave to money. It can take time to get yourself into that position, but if you really want it, you'll work for it and you'll get there. Hey, if you haven't seen Shawshank Redemption... Come on, who hasn't seen Shawshank? I highly recommend it. One of the all-time greats. I'm not saying that all 9-to-5 jobs are horrible. You may of course find a 9-to-5 job that you really love. In my career, I've been pretty fortunate and mostly enjoyed the traditional 9-to-5 jobs that I've worked. But in this video, we'll discuss some other options out there that you can look into in order to make money outside of the traditional 9-to-5 grind. This is specifically related to C-sharp developers. So once you are proficient with C-sharp, there are a multitude of ways that you can monetize your skills. Hopefully you'll have success leveraging one or more of these options to monetize your C-sharp skills. If you hit it right and you commit yourself, you really can become rich from leveraging your software development skills. Many people have done it, so why not you? Before we look into these options, if you like this video so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that to my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section if you know of any other ways to monetize your C-sharp skills. Of course, all comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. So the first easy way to make money using your C-sharp skills is freelancing. So firstly, what exactly is a freelancer? Being a freelancer means working independently rather than being employed by a company. Freelancers are self-employed and typically offer their services to multiple clients on a project-by-project -project basis. Some key aspects of freelance work are flexibility. Freelancers choose their own hours, clients and projects. Independence. They are their own boss, responsible for finding work, setting rates and managing finances. Varied income. Earnings fluctuate depending on workload, clients and rates. No traditional benefits. Unlike full-time employees, freelancers don't get company-provided benefits like health insurance or paid leave. Wide range of fields. Freelancers work in industries like writing, design, programming, marketing, consulting, photography, and more. So the good news is you're not on your own when it comes to finding freelance work. There are several platforms on the internet that you can use to search for the type of freelance work you are looking to do. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer, and TopTal can be leveraged to match the skills that you have to potential clients. Using your C-sharp skills, you can provide services like build web apps, desktop applications, automate scripts, and API integrations. You could start small and provide just simple bug fixes or just build simple apps while you are building your reputation. In the freelance world, reputation is everything. Make sure you add significant value to every client. Building AI agents. The new buzzword is agentic AI. As a C-sharp developer, you can easily leverage .NET on Azure, where you have access to amazing AI application creation tools. You can use AI Foundry on Azure to create incredibly sophisticated AI-driven applications. I envisage that there will be more and more opportunities to monetize AI agents in the near future. You could perhaps monetize your AI agents through a subscription model or SaaS pay-per-use model. You could charge businesses for chatbot setup, training and maintenance. Charge users for access to your AI agent or offer a freemium model with paid upgrades. Use your imagination. There are huge opportunities to make money in the agentic AI space. Game development. You can use your C-sharp skills to create games and sell them on Steam, itch.io or mobile app stores. You can also offer your Unity game development services on freelancing websites. Create and sell software. 
You can build SaaS software as a service apps written in C Sharp and host them on a cloud platform like Azure. Azure Cloud is the best platform for hosting C Sharp and .NET based apps. You can develop and sell desktop applications, for example, productivity tools and automation scripts. You can license customizable software to businesses. For example, you could create a generic CRM system for a law firm. You could then offer additional customizations for additional costs. Just keep finding ways to add value and the money will build. You could find your niche in many spheres, insurance, banking, medical, school administration systems, municipal management systems. There are many options for meeting demands in many sectors. Build and sell code templates. Sell reusable c -sharp project templates. Unity assets or scripts on marketplaces like Code Canyon, Unity Asset Store, GitHub sponsors. Code Canyon is an online marketplace where developers can buy and sell scripts, plugins, and code snippets for various programming languages and platforms. It is part of Envato Market, which also includes marketplaces like Theme Forest for website templates and Graphic River for design assets. The Unity Asset Store is an online marketplace where developers can buy and sell assets to use in Unity, a popular game engine. It provides a wide range of resources that help speed up game development. GitHub Sponsors is a funding program that allows developers, open source contributors, and projects to receive financial support from individuals and organizations. It helps sustain open source work by enabling direct sponsorships. Use ASP.NET Core to create web applications. The ways you can monetize your web apps are as follows. Charge for access using a subscription model. Run ads on your website if it's a free app. Offer premium features, freemium model. This is when you offer a lot of free features to the viewers of your website, and then you can offer additional premium features that the viewers can pay for and then consume. Automate tasks and sell bots. Build automatic bots for businesses that perform tasks like web scraping, data entry, email automation. Incidentally, I created a course that is over eight hours long, sponsored by Bright Data, which will show you how you can leverage web scraping in your C-sharp and .NET apps. Please check it out at this URL. It also delves quite deep into C-sharp and Blazor. So you can sell pre-made bots or scripts on marketplaces. Work a remote C-sharp developer job. Many companies hire remote C-sharp developers. So you can move to Thailand, for example, which has a huge digital nomad scene or Bali and find jobs online. So you can have an amazing quality of life because Thailanders, for example, and Bali are relatively cheap and earn great money in a remote location. So you don't have to be rich to enjoy a luxurious lifestyle. You can just move to a cheaper location and earn money remotely. You can leverage platforms like LinkedIn, WeWork Remotely, Remote OK, and FlexJobs to find remote work. There are many ways to leverage your C-sharp skills to make money. But the last one I want to talk about in this video is contribute to open source and get sponsorships. Build popular open source C-sharp projects and get sponsorships through GitHub sponsors or Patreon. Some well-known open source C-sharp projects where one of their revenue streams is made through GitHub sponsors are Avalonia UI, a cross-platform UI framework for .NET, similar to WPF but works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Serilog, a powerful logging library for .NET applications. Umbraco, a popular open source CMS content management system built on .NET. Reactive UI, a framework for building reactive event-driven applications in .NET. Octane, it's been described as rocket fuel for Blazor. It's a modern modular application framework for Blazor. How open source C Sharp projects monetize through sponsorships. GitHub sponsors, individuals and companies donate to maintainers. Corporate sponsorships, big companies fund projects they depend on. Patreon, open collective, community driven recurring donations. 
consulting and custom development, offering premium features or paid support. Cloud and SaaS offerings. Some projects provide hosted services, Umbraco Cloud, for example. I hope you've enjoyed this video on ways to leverage your C-sharp skills to make easy money. Who knows, if you hit on the right idea, you could even become super rich. Just remember, rich doesn't necessarily mean you'll be happy. Rather make peace and life satisfaction your priority. But then yes, just get stinking rich. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section if you know of any other ways you can monetize your C-sharp skills. Of course, all comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.